Hi, beautiful. <laughs> you look incredible. Thank you for being here. Today, we're talking about one of the most magical, glorious, fabulous tools to ever be created for hair styling purposes. And that is the curling iron. The thing that I don't think I could live without. It creates texture, it creates volume, it creates magic, all right? If you know how to use it correctly, it can create real magic. And if you don't believe in magic, today I'm gonna change your mind on that. We are about to go on a curling iron adventure today and I hope you'll come along with me. There are so many different ways of just using one tool and that's what's so exciting. And I've already done a video like this about flat irons and all the different amazing, fabulous ways you can use a flat iron. And curling irons are just as fun. So today, let's go through all of my different hacks for using a curling iron on your your head. We're gonna go over how to make curls, how to make your hair look like it was just blown out with a curling iron, how to make your hair look textured and fun, how to make your hair look like you have kind of like a chic bedhead after sex hair kind of moment. And we'll do all that on long hair. And then after we'll do all of the same stuff on short hair. And I'll show you how to do that on both lengths. That way, if you have long or short hair, you can use these techniques you see today on your hair, no matter what length you have. And with that all said, let's break out the curling iron and let's get happy. <laughs> Let's do it. Now that I'm here with Miss Manny Quinn. Hi girl, how you doing? Show your face a little bit, hey. <laughs> Anyways, so she's always trying to steal the spotlight for me, but it's like not gonna happen, like hello. <laughs> I today am using my trusty one and a quarter inch Marcel iron. If you have no idea what a Marcel iron is, well, this is it. It does not have a spring on it, you see? You are responsible to use your fingers as the spring. Regular irons have that spring so that you don't have to like do this yourself because it's really easy to drop these things and like burn your face off. If you don't know how to use them, like practice first for sure and don't burn your face, thank you. Otherwise, you can just use a one and a quarter inch spring iron that is fine. Some of the parts where I do like a drop down moment, it's not gonna be as easy for you, but you can still do it. Now I have Miss Mini Quinn prepped with a nice blow dry. All I did was put a heat protectant in. And if your hair does not hold curls easily, please prep with a hairspray, a dry shampoo, a texture spray, anything that's gonna add a little bit of hold to your hair. That way your hair doesn't just completely fall out um, after five minutes of wearing your curls, cause that's not fun. So I also just have a comb and a clip those are always great things to have when you're curling hair. The first thing we're gonna do is just a regular type of curl, and I'm gonna show you how to brush it out and make it look like a nice blowout. So we're gonna start in the first section here, in the purple section, and I'll show you guys how that is done. This might be self-explanatory to a lot of people. However, I think you could probably still learn a thing or two. Everybody does things a little bit differently, and I'm sure even if you know how to curl hair, this will be a bit informative for you. So we're gonna take our first strand, about, you know, this much hair. You know, not too much, not too little, you don't want to be here all day, and you don't want to do too big of strands or else the heat won't get all the way through the hair and it won't curl properly. We're gonna start off right up here, and then we slide it down and curl up. And we work our way towards the ends until we hit the bottom. That way we get the entire strand on the curling iron and we get no hooks at the end. Please be careful with getting hooks in your hair. And if you don't know what a hook is, I will show you in a second. So we're gonna let that sit for no longer than like 15 to 20 seconds. That is a springy curl, all right? And by the way, when I'm doing curls like this, um, you can have it on a little bit of a higher temperature just because we are trying to get that very intense curl. Um, I have mine at around 400. I mean, it's definitely hot, but not all the way up. Now, what a hook is, is when you go like this, when you clamp it down, and you go in the wrong direction and you get this. What is that? That's disgusting. Can you see that? Okay, so don't do that. I see a lot of girls doing that and it drives me nuts. We're just trying to curl everything in the same direction because we are going to end up brushing it out later. And we want everything to be unison and we want it to kind of clump together because that's the kind of look we're going for right now. 10 seconds is probably good enough um, and let it out and let that cool down. I'm gonna work my way through the front of the hair. And Marcel irons just make everything so much easier. It just makes things go faster because you only need to use one hand. It makes your life so much easier. And you're like, wow, how did I ever use a spring iron before? But you're gonna hate them at first. They're just hard to use at first. 
Boom. It's time for the fun part. We let that cool down for a few moments, spray with a little hairspray, and then we can brush it out. Now, I'll be using a Mason Pearson brush today, but you don't need to buy this expensive of a brush. It's just not necessary. Definitely an investment, but people swear by them. This is gonna be great for brushing out curl sets like this. It just has the perfect amount of bristles and it really softens the hair, gets through any tangles very easily. So I love it for that reason. But you can use any kind of flat brush with a mix of synthetic and boar bristles. That's the best option. So we're just gonna take this and we're just gonna brush them out. Now they're all cooled down and this is gonna give you that amazing kind of blowout wave effect. This is when you're going for a very classy night out. You want to look very polished and put together. If you're like, yeah, Brad, we get it. Like we know how to do that. Well, I don't know. Maybe have you ever tried back combing the curls when you're done? So I like to really get my hands in there because you do have moisture from your hands and using that moisture to pull out the curl is always great to give it a more relaxed feel. And now after we have that curl kind of settled down a little bit, we're gonna take the brush and we're just gonna gently back comb it. This is gonna give it a bit of volume. It's gonna give you a little bit more separation. It's gonna give you that bigger, sexier hair blowout look that I am trying to achieve right now. How sexy is that? Took me five seconds. And we can just spray that and it'll stay in place all night. And you can kind of keep working on it until you feel like it is perfect. So that looks beautiful. And I just wanted to explain one more thing. I generally use this size curling iron on pretty much every person's head. I feel like even short hair, it gives the perfect amount of wave without looking too overdone. And same with long hair. I think it's a great curling iron for all purposes, all hair lengths. If you're looking for a one size fits all, it's gonna be this. However, you know, if you're looking for a tighter curl, obviously get a smaller iron. If you're looking for a very, very loose curl, get a bigger iron. Test out the waters, see what you like, what you don't like. It's all preference. Okay, now that we've done that, why don't we move on to another technique that is very similar, but I do want to show you it just in case people out there don't know how to do this, we're gonna take the hair and instead of clamping it in, we're gonna use this baby as a wand. There was a big moment that everybody wanted to wand their hair. It was like the coolest thing ever to like use a hair wand. And I honestly thought it was like the ugliest thing ever because I didn't like the tapering at the bottom it gave you. Cause a lot of the irons went from large to small at the top and it like didn't look good. I don't know what the purpose of that was. I think it was just to give you more of like a beachy look but it never looked right to me. So I like to use just a regular old curling iron, open up the clamp, and this makes it a lot easier with the Marcel iron because you can kind of just like leave it open like that and just tightly wrap it around. And you want the hair to twist as you wrap and that's what gives you more of a wave rather than a curl. Um, and we're just gonna let it sit there and try and get all the way to your fingers here so there is no hooks at the end and just drop it out and let that cool, baby. And we're gonna do all of these again in the same direction away from our face. Unless you want that old Hollywood curl style, you can definitely go towards the face and it'll give you that. The front's gonna be a little more chillax and these are gonna be a little bit more real Hollywood glam kind of style. It's all about the chill, you know? We don't want it too, too curly. Of course, using a smaller curling iron will give you that very intense wave. Um, I'm not a fan. If you are, go for it. I don't really like to, you know, make perfect sections when I'm curling curling hair because you're gonna be stuck with that kind of sectioning in your hair for the remainder of how long you wear those curls for. Um, I like to take random sections so you get kind of a random pattern and things aren't too perfect. Um, it's all about that kind of effortless look while looking very much like you put a lot of effort in at the same time. Okay, perfect. So now that that has cooled down for a few minutes, we're gonna brush it out. Same thing with the Mason Pearson brush I'm gonna use and we're gonna gently brush this out to reveal the fabulous waves that are below us. Before I keep brushing, we're gonna take some hairspray. I'm just using a Kerastase one today. And we're gonna really spray this shit. That way the wave doesn't come out too much because we are going for more of a wavy look. It's gonna clump together a bit. You have to kind of form it. So we're gonna add a little bit of teasing behind. You're gonna see an awesome wave pattern come through. It's all about using your hands and looking in the mirror and just creating. That's what's so fun about hair. You see how we're getting that real S wave here before we got kind of like more of a blowout look? That's sort of the difference. I know it's not a huge difference, but to me, it definitely is. You get the idea. It's a very S wave and it's very glamorous and it adds a lot of shine and depth to the hair. I always love a good wave like that. But now that we've done the kind of pretty wave, we're gonna move on to more of a grunge style because I know that's very trendy and I happen to love that stuff. 
stuff. So let's do that. Okay, so one of my favorite techniques is what I like to call the curl and drop method. So what we're gonna do is take a chunk of hair like this, curl it a bit, just like one time around, leave that there for a second and drop it out gently and then move to the ends, curl it up, once and make sure you get those ends in there and then drop it out and pull kind of because we are not going for a tight wave here. This is a very loose, fun moment. What that release is doing is giving you a flatter wave rather than a more voluminous one. Uh, we can actually turn down the heat to about 345 here because we are trying to create a loose wave. We don't want the hair to heat up too much and form too much to the curling iron. We want it to be very natural and gentle. Now what I'm gonna do here is alternate going back and forth. So if I did a a wave going this way. I'm gonna do one going this way the next time. So clockwise, counterclockwise. We're gonna do that again. And I'm gonna go this way this time. And I'm gonna curl up once and drop out. And I'm just gonna leave it on there for like three seconds. Curl once drop out and you can do it like three times down the hair. This is gonna give you a more bohemian style look. This is a definitely a look that I gravitate towards a lot and I do on a lot of people because it's just also so simple. Like you're just making these flat waves and they're so pretty. And this stuff takes me no time because I'm not trying to make anything perfect here. I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. I got a little hair wrapped around this thing. Girl once, drop out. Curl once. You can also curl under instead of to the side. It'll give you kind of a variation of different kinds of waves. Now that that has cooled down, we are going to rake it out with our hands at first, see what we got, and then maybe use a brush a little bit. So as you can see, it's a very chill wave slash curl. And it's going in different directions. And now even right now, I think it's a little bit too perfect. So we're gonna mess it up even more by going in and just taking some pieces and just making sure that they are curling in the opposite direction. Maybe add some tighter curls into that looser moment. Let's brush that out, add a little bit of backcombing. I always love to backcomb hair after it's been curled. I just think it looks pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Messy, fun, all around gorgeous. Me as a girl, not too wavy, not too curly, just right in between. And it's a very loose sort of wave we got going on. Now we have this straight side to work with. So we're gonna break out a couple of different other curling irons. Okay, so now we have a one inch and a one and a quarter or I'll link this one below because I forget what it is exactly, but I will find it on Amazon and I'll link it below. So we're gonna use everything we just learned all on this entire side and I'll show you how to combine all those techniques into one to get an entirely bohemian, fun, styled look. And you'll see what I mean when I'm finished. Um, but we're gonna also take two different sizes because this will give us variation between waves. This will give you the most natural looking wave because naturally on a curly haired person, all the waves are not the same size. There are some smaller, there are some larger, there are some very large, some very small, some very frizzy. You get what I mean. We're gonna be using this all around, give it a little variation, switch off between the two and just see what the hair needs. Let the hair speak to you. Let it tell you how it wants to be curled that day. That's what I like to do is just look at it and just be like, what darling, what do you want from me today? And that's when we end up with the best look possible. Just prime it with some hairspray. All right, let's start back here and we're gonna use the smaller iron. This is what it's telling me to do. It's telling me to just do some wrap around waves and kind of leave out the ends a little bit. Why not? And I'm gonna pull that out just so it's not too wavy and that looks good. Okay, so now we'll move on to our bigger iron and we'll do, um, you know, a twist and drop. And again, I'm gonna rake it out as I go because I don't want it to be tight at all. These are our first two ones. We'll keep on working our way up here and give a little more variation. We'll use the larger one and we will do like a horizontal wave and we'll drop that out quick. Maybe do a little bit bend. See, I'll just take the iron and I'll wrap it around the ends and I'll give it a little bend there. Oh, and another way I didn't show you actually before is you can do a wrap around, all right? You can wrap it this way forward. Let that sit for a moment. Take that out. Don't drop it. Wrap it backwards at the ends. So it's going in an S formation one way and then an S formation the other way. So it's like a very confused type of wave. It's like, what direction am I going in? Forward or backward? And you're like, <laughs> Both. That looks really pretty so far.
We can also use uh, two different curling irons on the same strand of hair. So I just used the smaller one on the top and now I'm using the larger one on the bottom. And the secret to a chill looking curl is to not, I repeat, do not make these front pieces curly. Don't make them like this. If you wanna look chill and like you didn't curl your hair, just make them very loosely curled in the front. And this looks so good in my opinion. I mean, they're two definitely very different looks, but I'm gonna use one product just to finish this style off. I'm gonna use my BDSM Balm. This is my favorite finishing product for literally any style. I use it in my hair every day and it's actually like an iridescent pink balm. When you see it in person, you're gonna be like, wow, that's so pretty. It smells incredible. It's the Exmodo Signature Scent. And I love to finish blow dries or curl sets with this. I just use a little bit of it. It's very hydrating, very shiny, um, and adds just that perfect amount of gloss and separation to your look. This is gonna get rid of flyaways, lay down all those stray hairs, and just add a PC texture without making it look dry. And just make sure you don't sit in one spot with this. It really has to go all around the hair or else it'll make it a little bit greasy in that spot. So just be careful with that. But as you can see, it's actually like chilling out the wave a lot and just adding that incredible like beachy texture that I am obsessed with. Get in the front hairline. We'll finish this side a little bit with BDSM also. I mean, that to me looks incredible. You can see how BDSM added a lot of shine and added that nice separation within the ends. I mean, it just looks so hydrated now, so healthy, and there's no more flyaways, and a little of that stuff goes a long way. And this is where we started, and this is where we ended up. This is with all of the different techniques all in one, and this is with just each technique on each section, two very distinguished different looks. It's so funny how short this side is and how long this side still is. I don't know, I love both sides. I think they're great for two different occasions, and I love the color mixture with this side too. Like, how cool does that look? It's like a lollipop swirl of hair color. And then we have this really bohemian, beautiful side. I mean, it's just so chill. Looks like she woke up with absolutely perfect hair. Style that I just so dig and love. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> All right, move out of my way, miss. Time for our shorter haired mannequin to come in to the scene. Okay, so we are here with my fabulous short hair mannequin. I'm gonna show you how to do the same sort of curls we just did on long hair on the short hair. Now it's not that totally different, I'll be honest. You definitely don't wanna put too much curl in short hair or else you'll get a very stacked kind of bob look and that's not very modern. We want something a little more new, fresh, young, cool. Normally I would recommend using a flat iron for hair this long, but you can still use a curling iron and get the same sort of effect if you know the right ways to use the iron. So let's take that same size iron we've been using, our one and a quarter inch, and let's start in the front on these beautiful yellow strands. Now the important thing when you are working with shorter hair is to always pull the hair after you curl it. Make sure there's not too much wave in there. I also like to take the iron, use it as a flat iron to actually release some of the curl. See how I just made that into like a flatter curl than it was before? I actually do wanna add a little more at the root again, so we're just working through here. Another thing I didn't really show you before, which is also cool for short hair and long hair, is to wrap the hair around the iron like that, and then in the other direction. This is awesome for short hair because it'll give you that very loose, flat, wave. That doesn't even really look like I used a curling iron here, um, more like a flat iron. I wanna get this hair out of her face a little bit, so we're gonna add a little more curl there. I'm just gonna use the larger iron right now just to show you that even if you have shorter hair, you don't necessarily need to use a smaller barrel. People are always like, how the hell do you do that? And I'm like, I swear, it's not that hard. Just gotta take a deep breath, give it some soft wave. You see how I'm only doing like the surface of the hair? I'm just really mixing in all those techniques and just giving it a really soft look. And if you guys saw my flat iron video, 
video, I did this exact same look with a flat iron. So it's possible either way. And at this very short part in the back, I'm literally just adding a bend to the hair. I'm not actually curling it. We don't want to curl back there or else it'll give you that stacking and that volume in the back that we definitely don't want. And continue to alternate the curls backward and forward, generally just leaving the top very flat and just styling as we go. This takes no time at all if you know how to do it right. My hands are turning blue, Ooh, fun. And we'll just add a little bit of hairspray and a little bit of our BDSM balm. And that will complete that side. So freaking pretty, dude. You see how chill that curl is? It really doesn't even look like we used a curling iron. And it's just so relaxed and like fun and modern and just so pretty. And just adding this balm is just gonna give us that little bit of extra separation we love so much. Super easy, super chill. I'm just gonna show you a full side of that sort of wrap wave. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you in a second. We're just gonna do all waves on this side and I'll just show you how relaxed you can make this look. This is just gonna give it kind of a bend. It's very important with short hair to just not overdo it. And I'm taking very big sections just because I want a very loose style on this side. And as you can see, both sides super cute. One side is a little bit more curly, while the other side is a little bit more of just a wave. Isn't it cool how you can do that with a curling iron? I mean, it really does look like nearly her natural hair or was done with a flat iron, but nope, it was actually a curling iron. And she looks amazing and it's not too curly it's just a very modern new style look oh my god my hands are so blue she looks incredible i love this color so much oh my god it's so pretty would you guys ever do this to your hair like come on okay so those are all my fabulous curling iron techniques for both long and short hair i hope you picked up a thing or two to try at home on your own hair let me know how it goes send me a picture i would love to see what you've done with everything i've taught you today i love curling irons i love flat irons i love hair tools in general i'm such a hair nerd and if there are any other hair tools you want me to talk about and make another video like this about let me know i would love to hear your suggestions thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram Twitter, TikTok at BradMondoNYC and follow my hair care brand XMondo Hair for new product launches coming up soon. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hi beautiful, this is Project X, our everyday shampoo. Project X shampoo is perfect for those of you with normal hair who need a normal cleanse. This is not a heavy duty cleanser. This is not a lightweight one. It is perfectly right in the middle. It is going to get rid of all the dirt and debris in your hair without over drying it. She is gonna be your best friend.